All right, now let's head into part two, cleaning up your data and spreadsheet. So you're only going to look at the data for your year of birth, um, not anything else. Now I'm going to fake it and I'm going to look at 2008 because I figure none of us were born in 2008 in this class, but um, you're going to pick out your year of birth. Now, if you were born before 1960, just pick 1960. That's fine. If you don't really want to tell your professor your age, then just fake it. You know, who's going to know the difference? Be off by a year. Make yourself younger. You know, by a year or two, who's going to know the difference, right? You can always tell your professor, I lied, you know, because I didn't want you to know my age, whatever. Okay, so it says right here, we're going to consider only our birth year. So we're going to delete all the columns for years other than our birth. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to delete. I'm going to highlight all these columns I don't want. And for me, it's everything before 2008 because I'm going to pretend that I was born in 2008 and I'm only four years old. I'm a pretty, pretty bright stats student for only four years old. There we go. Now I've got that done. Sort the data in ascending order. Ascending means going from lowest to highest. Highest. Be sure to expand the selection. Okay, so what that means is I want to organize my data here so it goes from its lowest number to its highest number. I want the country of Albania to stick with that 1799 no matter what. But I also wanted to ignore the 2008 because that's not really a number, even though it thinks it is. So you kind of click on the letter B up here and it'll highlight the whole column for you. And then go to data and click on the sort. Don't do A to Z because it won't get rid of the 2008 for you. So click on the sort feature right here. And it's going to say, what do you want to do? Continue, sort. And it's going to say, okay, what do you want to sort by? I want to sort by column B. Column B is where all my numbers are. But I wanted to notice right up here, see, my data has headers, meaning that top row needs to get ignored. The other way to do this is just to highlight the, the column B without the 2008 and sort that way. That would also work. And then you click OK. And shwing, it's in order from lowest to highest. Now, one thing you might notice, like Burkina Faso is getting kind of cut off here. What you can do is move your cursor kind of up, kind of on that line between A and B. So it turns into a double-sided arrow. And then you double click and it'll make it as wide as it needs to be for the longest name which would be those lovely islands. All right, and then you can double click here as well. And I'm gonna bold the, the title here because I wanted to notice that's the year 2008. All right, let's go back and see. So we deleted all other columns other than our. All right, we sorted our data in ascending order. We expanded the selection to include the country names. Everything's good there. We wanna insert a new tab um, i.e. a new worksheet into the workbook. All right, so let me just talk about that for a second. This whole thing is called a workbook and you can see there's several tabs in it down here. Okay, so the data tab is really key and then now over here on the right, see how it, if you let your mouse hover over it, it says insert, you can click on that. Another thing you can do is just right click and choose insert. So click on the tab name, right click on the tab name and insert, either way. And it names it sheet one. I'm going to rename it graphs and tables and actually I kind of want it next to my data so I'm going to put it right there so my data is my first one graphs and tables is my second these ones I'll just leave in there they're um they prove to my instructor that I downloaded these from the internet and whatever all right what else did it say to do so I made a new graphs and tables and I labeled it I'm going to copy and paste the sorted data and corresponding countries from the data tab into there all righty so let me go back there it is. So I go to data and I can just highlight these two columns, click copy, or you can do control C. Then you go to graphs and tables and you can either paste up here or you can hit control V. And there you go. Now I'm going to hit save or you can do file, save. That's it. Got to keep saving all the way through so you don't lose anything. All right, we're done with part two. I'll see you back here for the next tutorial for part three.